Hello crystals, hey, welcome back to my channel, a girl is back with another video, okay, so I was meant to be working out, but the workout was hard and I'm like, you people cannot kill me, so I just left it and we are doing this. So today I am, I don't even know what I'm going to tie to this video or tag this video because I just put it on my status, see if I spam people on my, like, on my status, I said they should ask me a question, I want for you, I was like, you don't even have to ask me a question any longer, just drop something, just drop comments for me, please, let me see, I've not seen most of it because I got more when I kept on spamming, so I've not seen some of it, so we're gonna check it out together. Would you like to have a boyfriend? If yes, what should your relationship be like? Based on your religion, but then like, who does not want to have a boyfriend? Besides, I've been saying recently to myself, I don't have, have like just a boyfriend. Me, I believe in if you're dating somebody, you should marry that person. So if I'm dating somebody, I know that I'm going to end up marrying that person. And I think I recently started not believing. Not when I say not believing, like my mindset just changed. Like you don't have to date for seven years, for ten years before you guys get married. So I'm like, there's like a cap. I'm like, okay, after this certain amount of period, like we should be looking for us, you know, and all that. So. Uh, yeah, obviously, I want a boo. I want a baby boo. The most sexiest thing to me, like, the most, I don't know, okay, I don't know if I should say, but the thing that draws me to somebody now, like, the thing that, like, eh, is when I, like, see a guy that is, like, sold out to God. You see, I'll be going through Twitter and I'll be like, I see fine guys, and I'll be like, the only thing is that this place is not love Jesus. Like, you're yeah, right, oh, no, what can I do? You're not in. So, for me, somebody that is involved, like, right? see, no one say, and there are people that, crazy people should stop using exceptions, like, excuse me the extreme cases i'm talking about the normal sense of situation when you see somebody that is sold out to god loves god the thing and whatnot whatnot <sighs> i mean <laughs> i was trying to do the brand or something but that is the cocoa that is the cocoa after that thing now we cannot go to vanity but then pastor funke says to divide, divorce my husband which i've done so i really don't have much i'm just like god whatever you want from me i don't care i'm based on your religion yeah it just has to be yeah like I'm successful suspecting who, who asked that question. What should be my relationship be like? It has to be God in life. We have to be on fire for just it says take advice from people you feel are below you. You too. You good? Who, whoever that is, what makes you think I don't take advice from people? I take adv any advice that I take. It says, I'm not sure you physically that, okay, yes, I'm taking advice, but trust me, stay in my head. But I take advice from anybody. Like, what are you saying? So the next one is, what inspired you to start a YouTube channel and how do you do it? I intend to start one eventually and I want to learn some things now. Thanks. Um, so basically, I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. Like, I have always wanted to start a YouTube channel. Like, when I was younger, I used to, I don't know if you guys did this thing, just act like you because I used to watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians when I was younger, so I'd be like acting like I was in my own reality TV show and all that. But then, shyness kept me from starting it for a long time, for the longest time, shyness kept, kept me from starting it. And then, shout out to Pastor Shola, I don't know if I've said this before, I probably have. He was the one that encouraged me to start like YouTube because I told him that I wanted to do YouTube. And I think the month that I told him was like, okay, by the end of that month, like at least I should have put up one video. I don't think I put up one video that month. I think it was the next month I put up a video he was one that was like I'm gonna start it so honestly the reason why I'm on YouTube apart from the fact that I always wanted to start with YouTube is Pastor Shola he was one that told me to you know what just go and do it and if you want to start okay this is something that I'm sure a lot of youtubers have said on their channel start with what you have like I have a friend Olamide I was like, and she wanted to start a YouTube channel. I'm like, babe, just start. Because if we wait for, oh, I don't have a camera, I don't have this, I don't have that, you'll never start. Just start with what you have. Like me, what I do was I actually, go, I use my phone to film. So I got a phone with a good camera. I use an iPhone XR to film. Hopefully, I'm upgrading soon. You guys should help me get to 1K and subscribe to my channel so I can get monetized and get paid and buy me a camera and all that. Thank you. So just start with what you have. Just start. Essences. Take, okay, some, the person typed it. So I take advice, blah, blah, blah. Um, another one to say, Yo, it's your girl B. That's my friend, bless my best friend. She's not serious, she's meant to be anonymous. <laughs> Yo, it's your girl B. I love the woman you're becoming. I love you, craving for the things of God. A hey, God bless you, boy. I love you. I love you too. Bless me. Her, she has an IG page where she sells jewelry. I don't know where I'm going to put it. If you follow us, jewelry, please, you guys should check out on Instagram. Thank you. Donald Trump is a hologram program by the far right. This is probably my cousin, one of my cousins. I think it's one of my cousins because on my family group chat, they are always do not trumping or I don't know. They are just always talking about politics. My, so I think it's one of my cousins at that time. <laughs> I don't even know. You see this left and right, so I don't even know and I don't care. Like, miss me with that rubbish. That's Donald Trump's business. 
Thank God you did not disappear due to not eating. Now I think you need to go back to those days. Oh, or what do you think? I think this is my mother. Mommy, if you don't want to type this, you got one that made me this fat. You are not saying I should go back. Come. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I've shared the story on here. Okay, let me quickly share the story. So when I was younger, I was really slim in certain pictures. Okay, I was like extremely slim and I didn't like eating. So my mommy would tell me that Abimbola would disappear and in 10 years I was scared. She called her dad, her dad conquered. She called her sister, her sister conquered. I think she called her brother too, he conquered and everybody. So I'm like, I don't want to disappear into the wall. Because when we were younger, there was this new newscaster that kept on getting slim and slim. So I think they just started saying, ah, this one will soon disappear. So they just used that thing for me. And they kept on telling me that you will disappear, you will disappear. That's why I started eating. And since that day, I've never stopped eating. That's why I'm fat like this. I'm trying to work out. And the workout was so adilent. I said, let me film my video. YouTube career most blue so i'm working on it thank you but I, I, my chicken addiction is just ugh, guess who really really say you love me it depends on who you are okay now i love everybody with the love of christ but yeah move what gets me going? Chicken. <laughs> I'm just looking at the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit really helps me. This 2020 has been an amazing year for me, honestly. The Holy Spirit, like, this year, I have so many testimonies, growth, faith, like, mindset change, and just, I just thank God for taking me home. I always say, like, I thank God for taking me home. Home is JLC. Like, I've met so many amazing people that have helped me and impacted my life. And Pastor Shadow, down to everybody, too. People I work with closely. But what gets me going? Like, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, some things I want to do, and the Holy Spirit is like, so... Just, like sometimes when I'm instead of praying, I'm like, oh, I don't feel like praying today because sometimes it's not easy. Like, like, like praying for hours. Like. <laughs> then I want to watch Netflix and the like, other oh, like, okay now. Let let let's wait. So 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 watching Netflix is more important than praying. Like that. Shanda Prado, so take care of all so that. <laughs> it's not like he's trying to guilt trip me or anything. It's just like way like you know prioritize things so eventually i've been watching netflix a lot recently so i think i should be able to pray so yeah the whole thing helps me a lot and i want to be rich i cannot be poor i mean earlier that like so you can kind of work will you answer the question definitely definitely chicken or turkey i'm sure it's bill back with asking this stupid question or i don't know somebody else there's somebody i know that prefers them uh, probably i don't know i don't think you the only two people I know that prefer chicken to turkey is Bellumi and Eoma, so I don't know. <laughs> that was a rubbish question. Chicken all day, every day. Ch turkey is just fat and bull. That's bullshit. It's rubbish. It might not be them. I'm just saying those are the only two people that I know that like turkey. Or maybe it's Zomotola because it was that. I don't even know. Surprise me with food, dear. That's Bioba. It's Bioba who that said this one. See, I ate. You to surprise me with food. God bless you. In YouTube, <laughs> no question. I just wanted to say you're really pretty and you inspire me. OMG, thank you so much. Like, <gasps> I'm pretty. My hair finna swell. Okay, we'll swell, but thank you so much. You guys keep me going. Like, it, it's really amazing for me to get feedback and encouragement and all that. I really need it. So, if you are just like, oh, she doesn't need you can please send me an encouraging text message or all that. I really appreciate it. It keeps me going. Yeah. Makes me know that okay, yeah, people are trying to watch and appreciate my videos. Um, what's your full name? My name is Abimbala Ola Damila Krista, the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, the apple of Abazai. You know what I mean? <laughs> Abimbala Ola Damila Krista. No, Krista is not part of my name. I just give myself Krista Ajayi. Abimbala Ajayi Ola Damila Krista, righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, apple of Abazai. I said it before, so let me just move on. What are your, who are your best girls? G A L S, like really, um. I have like I think I have two best friends. <laughs> She's going to kill me this. I use this because I said that. But let me be back one and then blessing or more tidy. That's B that yeah. Um I put their businesses because they both have businesses. We're all winning. Like, um, yeah, I've known Bibaku, I think, for like 10 years now because we met in GSS one then Omo Tadi, we met in GSS when we were going to SS1. So I think I've known her for like probably six, I'm not sure. No, 10 minus three. Five, six, seven, seven. So I'm sorry. I don't know. I know my question. What school do I go to? Well, I go to OU, Obafemi Awolowo University in Nigeria, but Nigeria is currently battling COVID and all that. I say, <sighs> miss me with that bull crap. What do you see yourself doing in five years? Well, by the grace of God, I would have been the pilot by then, and by then I should have at least 10 million subscribers on YouTube channel, and I should be successfully be. I should be a successful forex trader by then. So three things: a pilot, ten million subscribers on YouTube, and yeah, making mad money from forex trading. Yeah. 
how far have you gone with with the boy? Oh, I've gone three years, I think. Yeah, with the boy. Well, in terms of dating, that was like, well, like that was a few years ago. Who was your first love? My first love. His name starts with E. Ain't gonna mention it. I don't know. I don't even know. Wait, should I mention or should I? Who was your first love? My first love was. I'm just saying, his name starts with those people that know, no, his name starts with E and all that. But yeah, E, that's it. I'm, what's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is the Holy Spirit at home. Please, let's make that bullshit. Would you like to marry definitely? Definitely? Like, definitely? I want to marry her. Boy, what motivates you? The Holy Spirit, I said that before. I love your personality. You're beautiful and amazing. But I just had to check if I was filming because it's possible for me not to have been filming. I just want you to that. I probably person probably wanted to. I just want you to know that you are smart. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. No question, man. Just keep doing a bimbola. You are strong and pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, that's what I've been doing recently. I just want to do me like screw. Oh, what are people going to say? What are people going to say? Oh, what voice people? Whatever the English is, moving correct me. Um, what is my guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure. I think I don't know if I know what that means. Let me Google it. Guilty pleasure. Yeah, that's that. So guilty pleasure means something such as a film, television program, or piece that you enjoy. That's why I feel that it is not generally heard. Well, what does my guilty pleasure? A guilty pleasure is an activity or piece of me. I thought I didn't know guilty pleasure had to do with entertainment. A guilty pleasure is an activity or piece of media that someone enjoys but will be embarrassed by if people. Oh, guilty pleasure is generally something that might be viewed as shameful by some people, like trashy novels or overdone rom coms. I didn't know that. Well, I'm not embarrassed by mine. My guilty pleasure is chicken. I can eat chicken every day, all day, every minute, every second. I love chicken. Please, someone should send me. 600 yeah 600 more subscribers so i can get monetized on youtube and you guys should watch my video so that i can have money to be able to buy more chicken thank you um have you ever been in a relationship yep would you why did you leave nigeria and when are you returning see you people stop at see i don't know i have suspects of what with that question i don't even know if i have suspects but that when are you coming back can you believe me even myself i don't know why did i leave nigeria i just things happened i didn't leave nigeria i'm coming back so yeah and when am I coming back? <sighs> I don't know when I'm coming back. Coming Jesus knows. When are you coming back? Another question. <laughs> I don't know when I'm coming back. Why? Why do you, do you guys have something for me? If I come back to Nigeria, will you take me out? Like, will you take me to buy chicken? Will you take me to yellow, ch 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 yellow chili and buy me egg and seafood or crow and chicken and everything? Like, <laughs> let me enjoy my life. <laughs> True love versus no more chicken. Okay, yes, I know who asked because you asked me my DMs. So. True love versus true love versus no more chicken forever so i have to choose between finding true love and chicken <laughs> oh i don't know what to say to that one because that one is hard you people chicken is here like chick let me say jesus is here chicken is not like this after it's like that's how much i love chicken so i'm not i, I don't even know how to dissect that question because if hi i'm in Bola, please i want you to join join wmg but i don't have enough with me is it possible you support me a little bit what i have please even me i'm struggling like it's it's, it's a hassle i'm investing in myself even being the wmg is well we're called world nation right now so we've upgraded that's where i'm learning how to trade and all that and every good stuff i think i have a link in the description down below if you want no more you can just text me but I'm sorry, I hope to get to a stage where I'm able to support people and help people, which is why I'm really, really keen on growing, but right now, I'm still, like, struggling with myself, so, yeah. Are you in a relationship here with the Holy Spirit? I'm not in a relationship with them. Yeah. <laughs> and with the guy, you know, hopefully, I don't know, I will move. When are you coming back? Miss me with that question. What's your type? My type is anything that God wants for me. Please. Which of your friend's boyfriend were you crushing on? I don't know, did I ever say I was crushing on my friend's boyfriend? Like, did I 
say in a video like did, i don't know which of my friends boyfriend okay i think there was a time when i was in secondary school i liked the guy my friend liked the guy Penny knew baby could like the guy <laughs> the guy that's i think i made my sister elder sister ask him they said like both of us can you imagine like and the two of us we liked him so i think he dated her friends then after i did it <laughs> but one lasted Penny me <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think I like have a crush on my friends I don't remember I don't like <laughs> So that is all I don't even know I was just talking eee, I'm so sorry if I spoke too fast so when Coco Sola corrected me Please watch this video subscribe to my channel Thank you very much uh, girls and I see my next video